I don't think I'm ever going to get bored of cat eye gel polishes. I just don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible. Hello, hello, and welcome to this entry of the Nail Journal. In today's video, I'm going to be creating five different cat eye gel looks. But first things first, I'm going to be getting into this PR package I received from BT Art Box. I'm going to be using their full tip extension system today underneath the cat eye look. So getting into these, these are base coat free pre-buff finish nails. They are referred to as uh, soak off tips. I'm yet to test that. Today I'm just gonna be applying them. And to be honest with you, they'll probably come off the way my other tips normally come off. I prep them not to stay on long. Um, so it's purely just gonna be about, you know, how these look, how easy they were to apply. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, so these retail for about um, $20 at the moment. They're on sale for $14.95. The gel is about $12 and they also have a tip etcher, um, I think, which completes the full system, which is around the same price. I think you can actually buy the gel and the etcher together. Now they come in three shapes and one length. So medium almond, medium ballerina and medium square. And they come in three different colors. They come in peach nude, um, they're referred to by two different names, that's why I'm calling them that. Um, brown, aka natural, and then just pink. So they sent me the pink and the brown in the almond medium, and I'm really glad that they did because it's literally the perfect shape. Now I did open these when I first got them and I dropped one of the tips, which is why that's missing. It didn't come like that. Um, but yeah, I wasn't sure about this pink initially, but it looks really cute against my skin. So we'll definitely be using those. Um, and I wasn't sure about this brown either, but then again, put it against my skin and there it's just such a lovely color. These tips come in 15 different sizes and it's a total of 150 tips. Very size inclusive. The largest is significantly larger than my thumb and I've got quite a, like, I'd say like an average sized um, nail bed. And um, for the medium length as well, very wearable. Uh, I would say the smaller size is quite teeny too. So yeah, I think, They've got color inclusion down, they've got size inclusion down, and there's like a good amount of like in between and perfect sizes too. So I went ahead and started sizing myself. I decided I was gonna use the brown, um, just cause it's a darker color and you know me, and you know, cat eye gels I always say, the darker the base, the better. I say I always say, I probably have never said that. Anyway, <laughs> just wanted to quickly compare these to the apres tips and that side wall is so much nicer on the BT Art Box tips. Lays way more natural, doesn't have that like really sort of excessive dip. This is just my personal preference, but yeah, the structure is pretty similar. Thickness is pretty similar. Um, the tip doesn't have a lip, like a little dip at the, at the end, which I quite like because that's again, less filing. So, I didn't have to do much for these because the cuticle shape was perfect for me. They laid perfectly for me. It was literally just getting rid of the little, the little extend bit at the tip where you like snap them off. So once I finished filing and cleaning that up, I just applied the gel the way I normally would. And like I said, you can literally see a bit of my cuticle there. I don't prep my nails to wear tips for long because um, outside of YouTube, I do a bunch of different things. I like do swatching for brands, I do lots of stuff, so I, I can't keep my nails on for long. Um, yeah, so just, you know, if you're new to this channel and you're like, why, why, why is she not prepped her nails? That's why. <laughs> but I'm just showing you how they apply, and honestly, these were so easy to cure and apply. Um, only thing is, is I got a few wonky, but that's just me. I find it a lot easier to apply my nails off camera, but they weren't too bad that I couldn't continue the, with the video. So as usual, just putting top coat underneath the tips to um, cure and you know keep nice and clean underneath um, avoid any like debris or things sticking under there that's why I do that and then I'm just being very rough here please don't don't do what I'm doing there but I was using the other end of my cuticle pusher to remove um, spill out and I also used the 180 side of my 100 by 180 file to do just a little bit of last minute refining but yeah that was really nice and easy probably cut off about like 15 minutes of my process so yeah let's say so far 10 out of 10 like them Moving on to the nail art, I'm just using this like really lovely like vino type color. And this is a random brand from the UK, but you can use any brand you want. Um, you can also use any base color you want. These are just ones that I've chosen to use. 
for this first design i'm going to be recreating the design that i posted in my shorts this weekend this is the second short i posted and a few of you asked for a or well, I, I think maybe only one of you actually on this particular design asked for a more detailed video now in that video i applied this cat eye gel to one half and then applied cat eye gel to the other half to finish the design I realized that if you're a beginner and you don't have any blending out brushes or you're not experienced with like diffusing color out um, or just, you know, it becomes more steps or more difficult, it might just be easier to do two layers of cat eye. So that's what I'm going to be doing um, for this design in the video, just showing you a few different magnets I'm going to be using um, to create this. Now, I'm going to pick up a few different ones in this video and it's really just to demonstrate that you can use any magnet you want. It, it's purely based on, you know, like what you're comfortable with. For me, you'll see me use the cylinder magnet a lot. It's because it's my favorite magnet to use. That's literally it. Some people prefer to use the first one. Some people prefer to use this one. For this particular design, I found it easier to do the last step, which is this, like hovering the magnet at the bottom of the nail um, with this particular magnet, the double-ended magnet and using the rectangle end. Um, I noticed that the pigment was kind of like weirdly lurking towards the cuticle so I just pushed it further towards the tip and then repeated the step of hovering the rectangle magnet at the bottom and that like creates a smile line. I don't know how magnets works, work guys, like I don't know the science of magnets so I can't explain to you why it's a better magnet to use for this look, it just is. Um, it just works the best. I tried using the other magnets to replicate this look and it didn't work and i wish i'd recorded that so i could show you but yeah just i hope you can take my word for it so i'm repeating the steps just with the second layer of gel and literally what i'm doing on camera is all i'm doing like i've left like 99.9 percent .9 of my process in so that was pretty much it when i was happy with the placement um, of each smile line i cured for 60 seconds each and now i'm just kind of like adding some like speckles and some stars and just showing like how you can you know add more to this look and this design to create something super pretty i personally wouldn't even add the stars but i know that like sometimes people are like oh, i would love to see like what else you can do rather than just using the cat eye so that's why i did that the rest of the looks i'm going to be creating i'm not going to be doing anything additional but yeah i hope, I hope you <laughs> i hope you like that little little extra detail Moving on to the second design. Now, like I said, I'm gonna use a range of different colors in this video and it's purely just preference. There's like no reason. I mean, other than, like I said, the Amazon kit, those gels do have a darker base. So using darker colors is just easier. This one from Fun Lacquer, um, and you can get, you know, cat eye gels from a bunch of different brands. You can tell what kind of base a cat eye gel has just by taking the brush out of the bottle. This one is very clearly clear when you pull it out. Um, so yeah, you can just gauge. If you can see like a darker undertone, maybe use a darker color. If you can see that it's just like silver um, pigment or, you know, the color pigment that's in the cat eye gel with a clear base, then you can use any color. Now for this design, I'm just, I'm just pulling all of the pigment to the center of the nail so that there's like a slightly dark outer line and it kind of looks like an orb. And then I'm using this sheer gel. This is Party Balloon Blue by Cocoist. You can use any brand, like I said, just as long as it's kind of like a sheer buildable um, color. So I went in with about three coats of this until I was happy with the shade on top of the gel. And I was happy with how it was kind of like laying and, you know, making sure it's not streaky, but that's pretty much it. You can do this with any color. I've done this before in my fashion inspired nail art video, which I'll link if you want to see that. Um, but yeah, it's just to show how you can transform any silver cat eye gel. For the next look, I'm going to be recreating the design that I was actually wearing in my 2023 trend predictions video so my nail art predictions for 2023 video rather um and it's a shame because it didn't quite translate on camera but if you want to see it like how it would i mean the closest to how it would look to the naked eye definitely go check that video out because i keep waving my fingers everywhere <laughs> i was obsessed with these nails when i had them on but of course they didn't they didn't stay on for long so um yeah i'm just starting out by using um number five from the kit which is honestly my favorite one it's just incredible but i activated the pigments and now i'm pushing the cat eye back towards the cuticle so this this 
design is it's essentially mimicking um like a natural nail with a long free edge so this is acting as the kind of body of the nail and once i was happy with that placement i just cured it for 60 seconds and it's important to cure because then you're going in with a second color this is number four it's like a purpley blue and i'm activating it using the bigger magnet you can use again any magnet you want but yeah, I was just making use of all the different magnets. And then I grabbed my cylinder magnet and pushed it towards my cuticle. And I will show you again what this looks like without, I guess, slightly distracting with the other color there, but you, you, get, you get the general gist. But I'll be repeating this on the next nail anyway, so you can see that in more detail. But yeah, I'm just like kind of working it, making sure that you can still see it clearly, even though I've pushed it towards the cuticle. And I cured that for 60 seconds and that was that. I will show you guys these in more detail. I fear as I'm recording this voiceover that I'm rushing through these, but you will see them very, very soon. Um, and yeah, so for this nail, I'm just um, replicating what I actually have on my dominant hand, the hand that I'm painting with. This is also what um, I was wearing in that trend predictions video, except I did prep this hand for these tips to stay on for longer because yeah, I mean, they're short tips, as you can see, they're very short. They're short oval, um, so yeah, that's why that design is still on, if you're like, why not the other hand? <laughs> but yeah, that's all I did, um, was activate the gel and then, activate the pigment, sorry, using the magnet and then pushed it towards my cuticle. And you can play around with it to make sure that it's not showing too much on one side or showing less on the other side, or if you wanna bring more of it down towards one side of the free edge, kind of like I'm doing there, it's all you do. And that was it. And then for the last design, I'm going to be showing you guys how these layer. In my swatch video, I received, I think, one or two comments asking to see how these layer. So I thought this design might be a good example of that. So I'm going in with um, this pink color. It's like pink with orange and green reflect, which you aren't seeing any of, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, yeah, I, I will figure out one day how to film these polishes in more detail like i look forward to one day blowing your minds because it just sucks that you can't see these how i could see these with my eye but yeah um i just activated the pigment and then i just moved it to the center of the nail essentially or like to one side of the nail sorry and i'm repeating this process with a second color so activating it and then i'm just pushing it to the opposite side um so that the blue isn't covering the pink you will see why soon. But can you see here that these do have a gray base? So if you go over like a nude nail, you will muddy that color. If it's an aesthetic that you're going for, that's fine, but just wanted to make you guys aware um, that these do have a darker base. It's not gonna affect this design too much and you'll see why at the end, but yeah. So now we have the pink on one side and we have the blue on one side. For the last layer, I'm going in with this green that I used on my fourth look and i really wanted to kind of replicate northern light and i wasn't sure if it was going to work but i think it kind of came together in the end so same as usual activating the pigments moving it around until i can see that it's visible across the full nail kind of like the velvet look but yeah it's just to make sure that it's all present then i pushed it in at each corner until i was happy with it um and happy and you like you have to move your hands around a lot when you're doing cat eye um, designs. So you, you know, make sure that all of the pigments and stuff show, regardless of which direction your hand is pointing. So showing you how thick the nail got, this is with top coat, so that's technically four layers. Not that thick at all. But yeah, these are all the design, guys. These are all the designs. This is the first one, the like hollow orb one. Then this is just kind of like the colored velvet one this is the like nail bed one with like the little french tip and this is just like the ombre french tip one and then this is like the northern lights one and yeah we got there guys we got them done <laughs> if you made it this far thank you so much for watching i sincerely hope you found this useful just a reminder to oil your cuticles just moisturize look after yourselves guys but yes thank you so much for watching i'd love to know what you thought of the tips of the designs will you try any let me know thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one goodbye